Yo, what's up, Swag? You already know what time it is, man. It's your boy, Keon Lauren, a.k.a. K.L. Swag. Back here with a video, man. Look, man, we about to react to Travis Hunter is doing something unreal. Shout out to my dog, Matt B. Grant. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah. Sanders has made it evidently clear they're not going to stop doing this anytime soon, and that is scary, and I mean very scary for the rest of the team oh. in the country. I know sometimes we throw the word unreal around lightly, but this is a definition of unreal. And I know it seems like I'm hyping him up way too much, but I don't think so. This dude's like a superhuman. No, nah, for real. I am, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. To keep it real, bro is like that. Y'all know me. I'm not. I'm not man. saying it just to not say it. Different in a bad way. Different in a good slash great way. And what's so funny about the situation is it feels like it was ten years ago when I was talking about Travis Hunter decommitting from Florida State and going to Jackson State. For some odd reason, it feels like that was ten years ago, but it also feels like it was yesterday. Does that make sense? I don't know. I hope it does. I remember all the people writing comments under the videos, tweeting at me, "Yo, Matt, this is stupid because he's not going to get developed. He's going to play against wishy washy competition. This isn't going to be." good for his NFL draft status. If he goes to Jackson State, none of these NFL teams are going to I definitely was saying stuff like that. Play against good players, so therefore he's not going to get better and he's not going to improve. A lot of people use the old saying that iron sharpens iron and if you're the best player, why would you go to Jackson State? Why wouldn't he go to Florida State or Alabama or Georgia where he'd be surrounded by monsters yeah. and that would prepare him for the NFL? And you know what I told all those people and hopefully some of y'all remember this, blah 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 Shut up. I don't care. I didn't care if Travis Hunter went to Florida State or Jackson State. I told people when he went to Jackson State, it didn't matter. It didn't matter where this young man was going to play. Yeah, he I see. The ball out, and it wasn't going to affect anything. You have to understand something, guys. There were already eyes on Travis Hunter. It's 2023. It's not the 1980s. These NFL scouts can get film on any player anywhere. They can watch all the games somehow, some way. If true. it was the 1980s and you made the argument that these scouts wouldn't be able to watch his games, I could understand that a little bit more. But even still at that, look at Shannon Sharp. He didn't go to a big-time college, and people still knew who he was, and they recruited him, or not recruited him, but they scouted him well. My point is, where I was trying to go with this, although I was wrong with my prediction on the Colorado and TCU game, the one thing I was right about and the rest of the country finally took notice on Saturday is that Travis Hunter is the real deal. I try to tell people in high school, I try to tell them in Get NFL Sunday ticket and time live, bro, like NFL that. kickoff week and bro, like watch that. out of market Sunday games live. He in like State, that. this dude ain't human. There's certain people in this life that possess a rare talent, and I'm talking about a rare capability, and I label it as the quote-unquote it factor. Very few people on this earth possess that talent. Travis Hunter possesses it, and ironically and coincidentally as enough, his head coach also possessed it back when he played. Oh, yeah, real quick, real quick, I almost forgot to do this. On the previous video, I said, hey, let's see how many new subscribers we can gain from this video, and I'll tell you the next one. And we gained over 400. 400 subscribers off one video. That's crazy. And Wish. Well, why not? Let's I've been getting 13. Right here, okay, so if you're new to the that's channel, still a blessing. Let's see if we can beat that. Let's see on this video if we can gain 500. So if you ain't subscribed, and trust me, there's a lot of you watching and aren't subscribed, consider joining our community. We'd love to have you here. We love talking about college football, but more importantly, we love talking about Colorado. So yeah, consider joining, but let's get back on track and lock in. I wanted to start the video with that because it's so funny to me how the rest of the country is just now waking up and realizing Travis Hunter is quote-unquote him. That's it's because they played TCU and he played an amazing game. Right? And if you've kept up with this kid ever since high school in Jackson State, you know this. He's always yeah. been this great. The yeah. only, I mean, the only difference is he's now on national TV and yeah. everybody's watching him. Therefore, this year, he's going to blow up in popularity. Those plays you saw him make against TCU on Saturday, he was making those same plays at Jackson State and those same plays in high school. In high school. You can't make this up, man. And as corny as it is Literally. to say, I'm him or he's him nowadays, yeah, Travis Hunter is him. Now, getting on track here with the main point of this video, I can't even believe it. It is Tuesday, and we have yet to even talk about Travis Hunter and his performance. That happened on Saturday. I know, right? It's crazy, but there's been so many other things we've been covering. Well, first things first, let's start with this, right? You know Travis Hunter's great. I'm not going to sit up here and rant and rave anymore about him. Or let me change that. I'm not going to rant and rave about his abilities. Here's what I want to focus on and talk about what Travis Hunter did on Saturday that is so surreal, it is so mind-boggling, that a lot of people out here don't understand how impressive it is. Because you want to know something? Travis Hunter is so good, he made it look easy. On Saturday against TCU, Travis Hunter played a whopping 129 snaps. Yes, that is right. You heard me correctly. 
129 snaps. Do y'all realize some people get winded after playing on one side of the ball the entire game? Travis Hunter played on both sides. Yeah, that's and true. And in the game in a press conference or a post-game interview, he was like, oh, yeah, I feel good. I could go out there and play again. Play he capping. Like, he capping. That was just a great answer to say. He, he He's capping. He was tired. Bro, it's not like he got off. Bro. Oh, my God. That, the shit that he did is really, really good. Yeah. But the crazy thing is about it, y'all, is that he got off the field. It's not like he just stayed in the game the whole time playing, you know, this and that. He got off on, on offense, too, y'all. Like, he got off on offense, got a little breather, like, you know, got some water, chill out for a little bit, and then got back in. He was really in on, on defense the whole time. Offense, he got off a little bit, got a little breather, got his little, uh-huh, got it going, you know, and then he was straight. You know, so um, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I had a I had a homeboy that did this in high school, but yeah, he didn't do this in college. This is different. Only thing I would say is that how long will he be able to keep this up, bro? I'm not wishing no injuries or anything on bro, but you really gotta chill, like, cause it's a lot. It's a lot, bro. It's a lot. A lot of people see all the good stuff. And all that stuff, but it's a lot. He really got to stretch. He really got to He got to do a lot. I already know Dion's doing all that and helping him out and telling him this and that. But he really, really need to be careful and 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 make sure his body is good, bro. Because this that's a lot. What the only offense guy, defense? It's a lot. I think Travis Hunter, Steph Curry has some unlimited stamina glitch or something. This ain't real. It's not normal. And if you ever played sports, you know this. The most impressive thing that Travis Hunter did on Saturday wasn't any of the plays. It was actually just playing 129 snaps. The fact he did that and he yeah. still wasn't all that winded, I can't wrap my brain around it. He's not. There's no way he's human. Also, the adrenaline be going on, too, you guys. The adrenaline be going. And it's not even like he's playing on a defensive line or offensive line or like a linebacker and he's not running a lot. He is playing cornerback and wide yeah. receiver. That is the position he is. And they were trying him a lot. Most. And also what impressed me was there wasn't a fatigue factor. It's not even that to you guys. He's used to it. He's used to it. Like I said, I had homeboys that played offense and defense in high school. And, yeah, he's playing at a high level um, or whatever like that. But when you're playing it all the time, he played it all through his, his whole high school career. He played it all through his probably Pop Warner when he played Pop Warner or whatever like that. This is nothing new to him. It's new to y'all niggas. It's nothing new to him, bro. It's really nothing new to him. He's like that. And a nigga from down south. Nigga, we are like that from down south. Florida, he's a Florida boy. We are like that. So at the end of the day, this is just him playing football and having fun, bro. The nigga been doing this shit, you know? So that's all this is, bro. It's, it's surprising to y'all niggas. Not to me, bro. After, for example, he didn't only thing I would say I would keep it real with y'all about, a lot of guys I didn't think he was gonna snap how he snapped. I knew he was gonna make some plays, but not like how he did last game. We don't know, but he didn't say he needed a breather, and his he's not gonna say it, bro. I don't think he did. And as crazy as that was on Saturday, Deion Sanders has made it evidently clear. They're not going to stop doing this anytime soon. And that is nah. scary. And I mean, very scary. For nah, them. but he got to make sure he chill out and, and stay off office a little bit. About this, that they're recruiting players that are going to do the same thing Travis Hunter's doing. And also, here's something you need to think about. So not only do you have five-star Travis Hunter on defense, you also now have a five-star Travis Hunter as a wide receiver on offense. That's true. So it's almost like you've got two different five-star recruits, if you see what I'm trying to say. This is the best way to describe it. He's the definition of a game changer on offense and on defense. He's an X-factor. And as great as he is as a cornerback, I'm almost leaning toward the side of he might be an even better wide receiver. And that's not because I don't believe he's a great cornerback. I do. Bro, he's, that just he's equal. show you how talented he is on he's the equal. offensive side of the ball. His footwork is impeccable. He's got great route running abilities. He's and he's athletic, Receiver just a little bit ball. probably a little easier. That is the bro. one thing that separates Travis Hunter. He from is really hard. Players. He goes after the ball in every single play. Reminds me a lot of Minka Fitzpatrick at Alabama. Somehow, some way, the ball is always around him. Is it a coincidence? No, because ball players make ball plays. Travis Hunter has a simple mentality. See ball, get ball. Yeah. Simple. Doesn't matter if it's offense, defense, special teams, wherever. He sees the ball, he's going after it. You can say I'm overreacting, don't care. I'm calling it right now. Travis Hunter is the best player in the country, and I don't even think it's close. I don't think yeah. it's close, because I'll give you a great comparison. Shohei Otani. Why Shohei Otani, the undisputed best player in the MLB? 
because he's one of the best hitters in the league, but he's also one of the best pitchers. You can't yeah. compare. And it's the same thing with Travis Hunter. He's one of the best defensive players in the country, and he's one of the best offensive players. So, therefore, he's got to be the undisputed best player in the country, at least in my humble opinion, yeah. until somebody else can do what he does on... He ain't lying. Brooks is playing at a, at a, a, the ball, at a higher level. Than yeah, Kayla Williams an outstanding player. Wow. I love me some Kayla Williams. But he doesn't play defense. He doesn't affect both sides of the ball. Yeah. Charles Hunter does. Colorado won this game 45-42, to 42, right? Well, remember that pick? That was a 14-point swing. Travis Hunter intercepted a pass on what was going to be... Which was crazy. I was pumped when I saw so that. So that takes off seven points right there. And then Colorado scores seven points. That's a 14-point swing. That play alone won Colorado the game. But then to go on top of that, they threw a ball up to him in the end zone where he drew a flag and he caught the ball, but he was out of bounds. But anyways, on the next play, it was on the one-yard line. They just ran it in easily. He got him another seven points on offense. There was another time he broke up a couple passes, forced TCU to kick a field goal, and they missed it. And that's just a couple of plays that come into my mind. There was also that one play where he dropped a touchdown, and that would have been seven points right there. Yeah, nobody, he did. And I mean, nobody affects both sides of the ball in both sides of the game like Travis Hunter. I know sometimes we throw the word unreal around lightly, but yeah. this is a definition of unreal. And I know it seems like I'm hyping him up way too much, but... Bro, you're not, bro. You're keeping it real, bro. He's like that for real. Man, guys, I have yet to see a player this field like at that, the collegiate bro. level in a very long time. At least not at the cornerback and wide receiver position. He just has a rare combination of rare athletic and raw talent, but also he's an extremely intelligent player. And that is a part of his game that gets overlooked, his intelligence. His IQ is off the charts. He always makes the right play. Whether it's on offense or defense, he knows when to take a gamble. Yeah. The interception he had on the running back, yeah, it was a gamble, but it was a smart one. And that's on purpose. He yeah. knows his capabilities. He knew he could get out there and intercept that pass. Mm -hmm. A lot of players, they really don't know the difference from a smart gamble and just a straight-up gamble. Travis yeah. Hunter does. And what I'm looking forward to the most is seeing him continue to do this all season long. Now, here's the biggest question I've seen a lot of people say. Oh, well, can his body even hold up? Can he stay healthy if he plays He's used to it. snaps every single game of the year? And that is a He's fair used question, to it. but I think it's the obvious answer. But uh, this is yeah, a higher level, this though. This an athlete, man. I think some of y'all forget if you didn't play AAU. I played AAU growing up, dude. I played three to four basketball games per day. A lot of these guys that are playing at the college level, they used to play football in the backyard for yeah. seven, eight hours a day. I've yeah. also heard rumors that Travis Hunter goes to open gyms and he'll play basketball full court for three to four hours. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I guess you could say it would take a toll on his body, but he's an athlete. I don't see yeah. a problem with it. He knows what he's capable of and he knows his limits. Yeah. And you notice if you paid attention to the game, he let the sideline know when he needed a breather. He, he did. did a couple like I said, days. he went. Only Travis Hunter knows his limits. Might be great or some random person on Instagram or Twitter commenting under his pictures that's eating cheesy puffs while watching the game. You don't know his limits. He does. If you ain't on the Travis Hunter hype train, this is your last warning. You either get on or you're getting left behind. I was on the hype train two and a half years ago. I don't know where everybody else was. Guess y'all were snoozing and sleeping on him because he went to an HBCU. He yeah. just got overlooked because he went to Jackson State. That's all it was. He was making these same plays there, I'm telling you. I watched the film. I've studied. He made the same exact plays. I could go on and on. I'll leave it at that. I do want to speak on this. Let me know your thoughts. But, yeah, no, nah, for real. He said some real shit for real, though. He's like that, for real. Y'all know me. I usually not going to say that. You know, even dudes in the NFL, I be saying that. I'll lock him up or whatever like that. I ain't going to lie. I would love to go against um, Travis Hunter, do a video, do like a 1v1 and go... I'm at DB and he at receiver or whatever like that. And don't be in the comments saying that he uh do this and do that. We don't know. Y'all know how I get down. Y'all know how I am as a defensive player. I would love to go against bro. We had it set up. And then, you know, unfortunately, you know, the dude that I know, you know, left me on scene. You know, we, you know I was going to set that up, you guys. And that was going to be a real shock to you guys. Um, I was close to setting it up with, with Travis and... You know, we get some one v ones in and stuff like that. You know, get you know a nice little video and a nice little vlog and stuff like that. But it didn't happen, bro. Left me on open. But it is what it is, man. We gonna keep praying. We are gonna keep grinding. We gonna keep doing our thing. And we gonna get to the ten k and then twenty k. I mean, you never know. We might get to a hundred k. We never know what that man got for me, man. But anyways, man, I love y'all. Stay swagged up, man.